Hello, welcome. I'm Mel. I'm a crafter stamper, stamping up demonstrator here in Australia. Thanks for stopping in and watching today. Check out these cards. Are they beautiful? I think they're beautiful. I love them. Love them. Oh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> okay, anywho. These are the cards I made just a couple of days ago for a blog hop. I thought they were really fun, really bright. They please my eye lots. Um, I started off, I made this one and I'd put it all together and I didn't realise it's all single petaled. I didn't layer any other petals, nothing. But I still liked it, like really liked it. <laughs> so I thought I have to do, I wouldn't say a proper one, but I have to do a full petaled daisy and so I took the time I sprayed everything and I made these with the full petals so we have this one we have this one I personally like this one tell me what you guys like this is the one I'm going to show you today so we'll get started you're going to need a card base of thick whisper white when I do cards that have a white card base I always use thick whisper white always I don't just yeah it's thick, it's sturdy, it holds up good. So that's my card base. I do things in Australian card sizes. Our layer of gorgeous grape is going to be... I work in inches. I am an Aussie that works in inches. And so this is um, 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths of an inch. And if you work in centimetres, it's 14.2 centimetres by 9.8 centimetres. Then we have our top layer of Whisper White. That is going to be five and three eighths of an inch by three and five eighths of an inch. Or 13.7 centimetres by, oh, excuse me, 9.3 centimetres. Okay, I'm going to bring this in because I did two daisies already. It would take up so much time if I was to do on this, all of this for you. Okay, so I've just inked up the outline of the daisy punch I've already braided and I've already punched out I've already punched out um two of the daisies so this is what I do just as many times as you want that's memento ink that I stamped that in daisy punch Punch that out, done with the daisy punch, done with the brayer in. So now we have three daisies that are brayed in Bermuda Bay and Highland Heather. And you can saturate them as much as you want. You can make them as light looking as you want, as solid of a colour, bright. My Bermuda Bay always comes up really bright. Um, I'm just going to distress. This is the... Whisper White card front. This is not a Stampin' Up! tool. Unfortunately, we don't carry a distressing tool at the moment. If you have nails, you could do it with your nails. Easy. For my, <clears throat> excuse me, for my other cards, I did quite a strong distressing of this. This I'm trying to get nice and distressed but not take up too much time. So roughing it up <clears throat> so to speak as best I can. <laughs> That's better. Okay, so that's our card front. It's distressed. What we're going to do now, and you don't have to do it this way, but I do. Um, I have Highland Heather ink. I have the splotches from Waterfront stamp set, which is this one. I'm using that stamp. 
you don't have to do that you can pull a splotch step from something else or you can use a marker and flick your marker to do a splotchy background I'm stamping off with the Highland Heather because I want something really light So stamping off once onto some scrap paper to give us a, a light look. And you can do as much splotching or as little as you like. Like I've done a full card front of splotches. You don't have to do that. I'm using the sentiment comes from Butterfly Gala. I'm using Hello Beautiful. There it is down there. That's a great set. So I'm using a couple of stamp sets, but you don't have to do that. Do you know what I mean? You can use the sentiments from Daisy Delight, which is what I've got this from. Okay, sentiment. Sentiment, I'm stamping in Memento. I like a black sentiment, a strong black sentiment and I'm going to stamp it down towards the bottom but not right on the bottom. So bottom right hand corner. I have my stamping piece mat underneath for when I'm stamping with polymer, <clears throat> photopolymer stamps. Okay, so all we have to do now is find some dimensionals and these are our clear faceted, clear faceted gems. They're really nice. We're going to pop these in the center of our flowers and we're going to pop one of our flowers on a dimensional and the rest are going to sit down. So I'll just roughly lay them out where I want. Okay, lovely. I know we're putting two on dimensionals, so we'll pop him on. These are our stamping dimensionals that I'm using. And he can go about there. We're going to pop this one on a dimensional as well. So what have I got? I want the blue to be on the purple a bit. Sorry, <laughs> thinking of how I'm laying it out while I'm doing this. And then just some Tombow. For this one. Tiny, tiny little bits on the petal. I don't want it to ooze out, but I want it to stick down. And this we're going to slide in. Ooh, pretty. Into there. Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, let's pop this onto our gorgeous grape. Stampin' Up have the best purple colours. They did a change of colors I think it was last year and the purples that they brought in are so nice I'm a purple girl totally but the shade of gorgeous grape and the shade of Highland Heather and Blackberry Bliss are my absolute favorites they're gorgeous colors okay we're gonna pop this onto our card front put the gems on and we're done, hopefully nice and quick. <laughs> I won't do an inside for this one today. I'm trying to keep it quite short. Short, but instructional. <laughs> Feel like I have a better term. Okay. I'm using the large. Large. 
the largest um, gems of these clear ones go in the middle just like that there you go and that is how you get that's one we just did that's how you get these cards brayer two colors of your choice whatever have a play and just see what comes about because that's what happens with these I was playing and this is what came out so I hope you liked it if you have any questions shout out to me I appreciate you guys watching thank you so much um, don't forget you can follow me on social medias I gave them to you at the start I believe um, have a great day take care bye